Okay, today we have on the bench is a Kenwood uh, TS140S. And uh, the complaint on this radio is it's off frequency a little bit. And uh, we're going to try and tweak that back in. I've got the service manual here and it says uh, reference frequency should be about 36. Uh, further up in the manual it says to set the radio to about 14 megahertz upper sideband. So I've got that, and we're looking for 36 plus or minus 10. And the control, uh, the test point is TP5, which is test point 5 is actually that resistor right there that's on the red lead. And I got the other side on the shield where the um, crystal oscillator is, along with the uh, TC1, which is the adjustment. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and get this as close as we can and see how it sounds. And then uh, it, it should get it close enough. If not, we'll, uh, we'll have to go further with it. But uh, So right now it's actually at 60. That's what it says on the counter. So we're going to let it warm up for a little while. Uh, gonna get, let it bake in for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Let it get nice and warm. Um, adjust it back down to 36 and we'll see how it sounds and uh, hopefully it's just that easy it should be it's things probably just drifted over the years so we'll come back when we get it uh, back in back in spec here alright so I got the uh, this Kenwood here uh, back in spec I adjusted TC TC1 right here and uh, that is supposed to be at uh, 36 megahertz plus or minus 10 hertz and that's what I get on the counter 36 uh, megahertz and it's probably plus or minus 10 hertz so it keeps fluctuating between about 10 hertz high and low so um, I think that should be okay so we'll give it a test on air and make sure uh, my counter over there is not the highest quality counter and from what I've noticed in other radios that it might be 140 Hertz off so I'm gonna verify that on this repair and, and to see if I might have to bring that up to 36 uh, megahertz and 140 um, 140 Hertz uh, not 14 did I say 14 Hertz I meant the 140 Hertz off so I might have to bring that up to uh, 36 point zero 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 oh zero one four the last two numbers one four so uh, well we'll see what what happens there but uh, for the most part it should be pretty close to test so uh, I did a local on air check with the uh, the owner of the radio and um, I had the uh, counter hooked up as I was uh, talking to him and um, I had it set for 36 uh, megahertz and uh, 140 hertz off, and it sounded a little high. So I backed it down till it, he sounded perfect, and he said I sounded perfect. And we're at about 36 uh, megahertz um, and 50 hertz uh, at the end. So uh, when I did the previous radio, uh, the reference frequency was 64 megahertz. And that was off by 140 hertz. And at 36 megahertz, it's off by 50 uh, or 40. It it uh, it fluctuates about um, 10 hertz there. So not not sure what's going on with my counter. Uh, I might have to invest into a better counter, but uh, for now, this is, is probably uh, it's really it's really close, uh, if not uh, dead on. And uh, no, that's that's that. Uh, I guess that's what you get for a hundred dollar counter, but um, uh, I, I don't know. I don't have uh, three thousand dollars to spend on a counter that I probably use about five times a year. So uh, as long as I can get it pretty close by the counter and then try and maybe zero it in by ear. A lot of people just zero beat it by WWV, and uh, you know that's how a lot of people tune their radios anyway. So. Um, you know, as long as I get the counter to get a, you know, pretty, get it in there pretty close and then uh, fi finally, uh, you know, just touch it up by ear. And uh, I've done about two or three radios like that and it is so close or dead on that nobody, nobody complains. 
So that's about it. Um, I'm going to wrap this thing up, uh, put the cover back on, and uh, I might try a different microphone. This microphone here is uh, a pretty uh, old one, an antique, uh, probably from the 70s, I'm not sure. I've never even heard of this uh, Pride Electronics, but uh, uh, he wanted me to check it out because it sounded, I've heard him on it and it sounded like garbage, but he says it sounds good on his end, but I did run a different setting on it, so um, I might try uh, wire up a hand mic for him and see how that sounds, and uh, that, that should do it. That was really simple. I mean, it was definitely off when it came in here. Uh, it was probably off, um, you know, uh, 60 hertz or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it, w it was definitely off to everybody on on our little local net that we uh, that we uh, have a rag chew on every night, and um, so this is not his uh, primary radio either. This is his backup, so he's probably going to take this uh, to his uh, cottage location for uh, you know HF use in the future. So um, well, that's pretty interesting. And actually, see the scan, the the uh, scan frequency when I that was that was weird. I don't know if it's going to record that, but. You can see the actual some of these eleven numbers were blanking out. I think that might be the scan rate versus the uh, frame rate of the uh, the camera. That was pretty neat. Yep, there it is. That was pretty neat. So, all right, that's about it. I'm gonna wrap this video up. Thanks for watching.